time is it? Y'all know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where is it at? It's down there. I'm still trying to figure out. Is it A or B? I don't know. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-K-O-Y Amanda, same on Twitter. And it's time to get this movie review started. What? Movie review? All right, y'all. This past weekend, I went to see the movie on my birthday on Sunday, Ford vs. Ferrari. It stars Matt Damon. And Christian Aren't Bale. Aren't they both like Oscar winners? Did Christian Bale ever get an Oscar? I know Matt Damon did with his Goodwill hunting and all that. But has Christian, I'm sure if he hasn't, he should. Maybe he'll get it for this Christian one. Christian Bale is such a versatile actor. He can get into any role and make it just so believable. He's not, I mean, because he was Batman before, right? He was a Batman. He was in so many different kind of roles that he is so believable in every role that he plays. And in this one, I mean, now I don't see anything other than him playing this this race car driver in this movie. Based off a true story about the Ford Motor Company and uh, them getting into the race car business, right? Wanting to build a race car to, to get their brand up. And I guess uh, one of these races that they do that the Ferrari always wins. So it basically was they're going to come in and they got to beat Ford's going to come in. Pick the the top guys to make the cars and, and the racing and all that. And they want to beat the Ferraris. We're seeing like the Ford guy. The, what is it? The Henry, the Junior. The Ford Junior. He's, he, he has a part in this. Not the real one, but you know, in the movie. We see him played by the actor. We see the guy. I've always heard of the name Lee Iacocca. I heard that name so many times, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I had no idea what, who Lee Iacocca was. I was like, hey, Lee Iacocca, what? Did he do Coca-Cola? Lee Iacocca, Cola? No. <laughs> well, now I know. This is when I love a movie gives me history lessons. He was like a big CEO kind of guy marketing for first Ford who came up with this idea that we're going to get a Ford, bring Ford back to life, build a race car, beat the Ferrari. So you see him played by the guy who plays the Punisher on Netflix. So I already love that guy who plays him. So he's playing the Iacocca. And this does a great job. The story is so inspiring. You know these true life stories always give you motivation and inspiring. And, you know, it was just wonderful. It was long. The movie was a bit long, like two and a half hours. But it didn't feel that long. It went fast probably because I was so engrossed in the movie. It flew by for me. I was in tears. I didn't know the true story. I didn't know, but I was in tears at the end because I was like, what? When, when a story hits you like that, when a movie hits you like that, that's based on a true story, I always do is I go and Google them. You know, this was popular this weekend because trending when I was Googling these people, you know, they were, their names were trending. Lee Iacocca, the guy who plays the race car driver, I can't even remember his name. But then the guy, Matt Damon plays, he plays the Shelby car. The movie was like standing. Before I went and saw it, I know Rotten Tomatoes, the critics reviews, had it at like a 90 something percent fresh. And I, sometimes I don't agree with their ratings, but on this one, I totally do. I give it, I mean, I'm hard, I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10, because I mean, it has to be pure perfection with everything around to get a 10 out of 10. But it gets a 9 out of 10 for me. It certainly does. The acting was outstanding. The scenes were outstanding. The cinematography. I mean, this is, and this is kind of hard to get interested. I'm not interested in racing. I never watched the NASCAR, but I was into this. So, you know, even the filming of it was great. The acting, I, and then in the story, based on the true events, it's not like I can say the story sucked because this is based on something that really happened. But I was into it and I learned my history. Nine out of 10 for me. Ford vs. Ferrari, I definitely suggest seeing it. Even if you're not a race car fan and all that, it was a good movie that I think it was. You've seen it, let me know. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah.